Right now on Tukonk Sport Fishing TV, Captain Jack Carlson's been asked by his good friend and the other conch, Ben Daughtry, for help with locating and taking back some target fish for his aquarium. That's going to look beautiful in the aquarium, really nice. And you always wonder where these fish come from in the aquarium. Well, this is where you get to see them, right here, firsthand. I'd like to get some snappers and groupers today. I think that's a grouper right there. We're ready to get busy. With the Keys recently opening back up after the pandemic, Jack knows now more than ever how important it is to help out with educational causes such as this. Got that fire truck red grouper, Benny! You did it! Yeah, let's nice. go! My name is Captain Jack Carlson. This is my tackle shop, and this is my fleet of yellow fins that make up two conch sport fishing charters here in Marathon, Florida Keys. I work here with my sons Austin, Tucker, and JC, along with my whole crew of top-notch captains. Dude, this is real deal, son. Yeah, this is real deal. Woohoo! Got him! My wife even has her own store right down the street. And one thing I've learned after doing this for 23 years is you never know what's going to happen next. This segment's brought to you by Conley Rods. Conley Rods are the best. Screaming real. Take them down, Flair. Yeah, you can't beat these Conley Rods. Conley Rods, the finest custom rods on the planet. Captain Jack and his two sons, JC and Tucker, are readying the yellowfin when Jack's longtime friend and the other conch of the two conchs finally arrives. It's time to go fishing. Let's get it on. Jeez. Uncle Benny. You want to bring an extra 100 gallon well? No, I want the boys to go get it. That, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Young guys doing okay, some boys, work, man. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, no. And then you got O2 for this? I do. All right, we'll take that O2 bottle, though, JC. This is a special activities license for the aquarium. Of course, you you are on this. Awesome. Imagine, yeah. imagine that, right? <laughs> and I called this in yesterday like we're supposed to. So I'd like to get some snappers and groupers today. Okay. Uh, grouper season just opened up, so I think that'd be good. Um, maybe some mangrove snappers, yellowtails, and uh, a red grouper. That'd be getting, awesome. If we get anything else, that'd be fine. But uh, Perfect. those are our target species. Put some of those in the lagoon, and then we might quarantine some of them, put them in the big tank. We'll just go out there and see what kind of mixed bag we can get. Let's, Let's go, go do get them. Yep. With life slowly returning to normal after the Keys shut down, Jack feels it's extra important during these times to help do what he can to contribute to public education about the local fish life. So Ben, with this coronavirus going on, you know, we, we had to shut down, finally getting back in to get some charters. You know, what's the aquarium like? Same thing, you know, we were in total shutdown and uh, we were shut down for about two and a half months. Well, all we can do is get back to work and hopefully things, you know, keep going in the directions they are going now where things are getting a little bit better a little bit better and yeah and go get uh go get some stuff for the aquarium which would be great so. fishing is essential that's it that's what i've <laughs> learned <laughs> Look what we found here. There's our boat. There's our boat. So me and Ben are, are, are the actual two conks of the company, two conks. But he's got the aquarium and Dynasty Marine, and then I have two conks. It is a separate business. I get asked that a lot if me and Ben are partners in it. But we are partners in the 26 Yellowfin. So we're 50-50. Looks like those guys are catching a lot of fish over there. Look at them pulling them in left and right. Yeah. All right, well, let's go see what we can find on our own. So Jack, what, tell me about what I'm seeing here on this Furuno because I haven't seen this yet, this, this green yellow stripe down the middle of, of about where we're getting ready to start fishing. Right on, Ben. Well, this is the Seymour chart that I have uploaded into my Furuno TZT3 unit. And it actually shows you the contour of the bottom in the 3D imagery. So you'll see the big reef ledges and everything. So you can see all these good contours 
right here and it just makes it easier to find spots. Yeah, it's it's interesting, but it's it's not surprising when you look at it. It's the, the rugosity of the reef is right where our spots are. Yeah, and that's where the fish aggregate. And TZT3 is where it's at. Yeah, I'd say I gotta get one of those. There you go. <laughs> So Ben, we're catching live fish today. And for the aquarium, are you looking for the big jumbo fish or more your medium, the small? The big jumbos are more for the dinner plate, I think, right? You That's know, right. So when we're catching fish at the aquarium, we really like to take a little less biomass. So we're looking for that, that kind of smaller fish. And you know, they live longer in the aquarium that way, they get a nice long life. So we don't have to go get any any big monsters, but you know, if, if we do, that's that's fun for fishing, right? That's so, right. It's fun for fishing, fun for eating. And so we want those really young, nice looking fish and they'll grow up and, and do really well in our aquarium for a long time. All right, well, let's get to it. Yeah, let's go fishing. This segment's brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Captain Jack Carlson is fishing with his longtime childhood friend, Ben Daughtry. And with the help of his Furuno TZT3, it didn't take the guys long to get on some schools of yellowtail snapper. All right, well right here you can definitely see you know how it's getting deeper on the right side. All the fish are showing up right here, marking a lot of fish. We're ready to get busy. Dang. Ooh. Where are we at with our Here you go, Ben. Critter. I'll get you. Can you open that? Yeah. So we use a D hooker here so we don't touch the fish and, and actually remove the slime. Yeah, definitely Come the on. way to go when we're keeping them alive. Once you do an initial stocking on an aquarium, the animals live a long time. So, you know, what we're doing is we're just kind of filling in on some, some stuff that we don't have quite enough of. Especially, you know, right now, uh, it's, it's slow with the whole coronavirus thing. So this is a good opportunity to, to get out and spend some time with Jack. Mangy. And you always wonder, you know, where these fish come from in the aquarium. Well, this is where you get to see them, right here, firsthand. Going up the well. Got something a little better here. What do we got here? Whoa, big fella. All right, yes. You got a nice mean girl. That one there, you can be good for the table, but we'll put them in the live well. Well, we're loaded up on the yellowtail. We got what we need there. We even got some nice mangrove snapper. Now we got to go look for the grouper. Well, we just idled from our yellowtail mangrove spot over here to this spot that we catch a lot of groupers. It's up here about 300 feet. JC, Tucker, get ready with the anchor. Marking a lot of good stuff right here on the Furuno. That 3D unit, look at them coming in. The fish are already here. Look at that, I think that's a grouper right there. Hey guys, let's get them out. That's right, filling up the well. That's how we roll. There you go. Tell it down. It's a rock hind, right? Rock yeah. hind. There you go, there you go. All right, right here. Right here. Take this one. Yep, yeah, let's get this one. I'm gonna get the net. Doesn't look like a yellow tail, Ben. No, I think we got, got tail here. we got something a little better here. This one here is the one like that we need. Got that fire truck red grouper, Benny! You did yeah, it! Let's nice. go! Closed captioning is brought to you by Furuno Marine Electronics. We got that Furuno radar on. I think they're marking birds already. This is what you're looking for right here. They're busting, they're busting, they're coming in, they're coming in. That's gotta be the biggest black fin you've ever got. Furuno Marine Electronics. Demand the best. Two Cog Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. 
gills, performance fishing gear, and apparel. Faruno Marine Electronics, demand the best. And Yellowfin, build your legacy. This segment's brought to you by Yellowfin. We got a fleet of yellow fans. The coolest thing about owning the boat is the camaraderie that this group brings. Two cops! Yellowfin, build your legacy. Captain Jack and Ben have located the grouper they've been looking for. Now to pull this fine specimen into the yellowfin. Come on. All right, yes. Got that fire truck red grouper, Benny! You did it! Nice fish, that's perfect. Get him in right here. We use these circle hooks. And I want you to handle this one, Ben. Yes, sir. And then go ahead, we'll put them in the front tank, right? Yeah. All right. Here you go. Hands inside the boat. Inside the boat, we're used to that. Perfect fish. That's going to look beautiful in the aquarium. Really nice. Right, let's go get him in all there, right. Yep. Hey guys. Whew, all right. Perfect in there. That's just what we needed. Now Let me get, get the fish. oxygen, okay? What I like about them is like how they marble up. You know, they look camouflaged in the water. You know, it's the ultimate ambush fish where he's hiding in those coral heads. And when those little fish come by, he just goes out, one gulp, got them. There's strawberry groupers in the mix. Yep. Got a pair Group of groupers. Up. Here. Turn on some oxygen, Jack. All right. Let's get some oxygen on these guys. All right. They're breathing well. Now it's time to keep them alive. Oh, well, that's a perfect red grouper, Jack. That's just what we were looking for, and it'll be great in the uh, predator reef tank. It's, it's a species we've been missing, and it's a, it's a commercially and recreationally valuable species, and we want to be able to display that species to all the people that come to the aquarium. So thank you very much for helping out with that. Absolutely, man. That's what we're here for. We love the public education, but I got a question. So we don't have running water in here, and I saw you put O2 on there. How long do you think that fish would be able to live in just sitting in this water? A couple of things that you've got to worry about when you don't have fresh water coming in is actually the water quality. So by putting the dissolved oxygen in there, we're creating an environment where he can really breathe well and uptake oxygen across the gills. But we're fine for a couple of hours in this well, no problem. This guy will do really well. Right on. I tell you what, the nice thing I like about this fish it looks like he should be in the military. <laughs> He's got some killer camo on him, he, you know? He certainly does. They are, they're an impressive fish in the way they can change their colors, just like black groupers, that camouflage and encounter shading and things that they're able to do, really makes them great predators. Which and it is. also keeps them alive, too, out here on the <laughs> reef. Yep, staying away from the big predators like yeah. the sharks, so. Absolutely. All right, well, I tell you what, we got what we needed, a bunch of yellowtail, red grouper, Let's go back and get these quarantined. Don't forget about the mangrove snappers. Oh, the mangrove snappers. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Ben, we made it back. What's the process? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is get that oxygen bottle and put it in the well in the aquarium encounters truck. Then we'll start moving the fish really carefully. We'll get everything in, into the back of the truck. We'll load it up. We'll go over to the aquarium. We're going to let some of those animals go in our natural lagoon area. I would like to keep uh, the red grouper, a handful of yellowtails and, and gray snappers, and take them over to Dynasty so we can start a quarantine process. All right, you better get the lifting because this is your part. <laughs> Let's go. JC. <laughs> JC! <laughs> I got young guys for, for good reason here, right? Right. You guys got it running? Yeah, it's good. All right. You want to do the honors, buddy? Set that bucket right down in there and just easy pour it in. How's he look? Oh, yeah, he's getting there good. Looking good? All right, let's go get the rest of the stuff. We want to keep these guys in good shape. So if you just get a few. There, dump a couple out. There you go. Look at that. You've done this before. Yeah, you catch them out of the ocean, I catch them out of tanks. There you go. You know? Looking good? Oh yeah. Great. 
With the fish safe and loaded, the guys make a quick drive over to aquarium encounters to drop off some of the snappers first. JC, coming your way. The lagoons at aquarium encounters are home to many different types of animals and fish. And typically, fish being introduced here don't have to undergo a quarantine like the grouper and other snapper will have to, because these lagoons have an open flow to the ocean, otherwise known as an open system. Okay, Jack, we've got a good number here that we can take back to Dynasty, put them through a full quarantine, and bring them back in about a month and put them into our main 200,000 gallon tank. Sounds think? good. All right, now let's get these over there. Sounds good. The guys then head over to Ben's other establishment, Dynasty Marine. Since the destination for the grouper and remaining snappers is the Predator Reef Tank, which is a closed system, the quarantine process is a vital part to the whole thing. And Jack will be back in a month once it's safe to move and relocate the fish. This segment is brought to you by Gills. Let me tell you what, if you haven't got your Gills on yet, you gotta get it. Gills, performance fishing gear and apparel. Captain Jack and his sons Tucker and JC meet back up with Ben over at Dynasty Marine. Today's finally the day to relocate the grouper to aquarium encounters. Yo, Uncle Benny. What's going on, boys? How's our babies doing? Looking good. Good to Looking see you, good. man. Good you to too. see you. Awesome, man. What's up, boys? How's it going? How you been? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming by. We're going to take those that red grouper that we got, a couple of uh, mangrove snappers and some yellowtails. We've got them all through their quarantine process here at Dynasty. Then we'll take them over to the aquarium. We'll put them in the 200,000 gallon main tank. But before we do that, I got some pretty interesting stuff. You guys want to come check it out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every once in a while we get some pretty interesting stuff, things that you know even Jack probably hasn't seen and definitely you guys haven't seen. So I'm gonna take you back to the shark tank because I've got a pretty unique collection of animals back there right now. We'll start back there. Let's go. All right. All right. So we've got four sub-adult great hammerheads and that's a pretty rare collection for anybody to have in any aquarium. So we've got a client that's looking to take these a little later in the year. They're gonna be opening a brand new, I think million and a half gallon exhibit. And their main species that they're gonna be displaying is gonna be great hammerheads. So oh, that's awesome. you guys see these big ones eating tarpons all yeah. the time, right? A really unique, amazing species to, to see yeah, no, in our no, tank no. here. It's so. awesome, Ben. Come on, boys, let's check it out. Let's go. Let's go see our, we got some work let's go to do. See our new pets at the aquarium. Okay, guys, let's go get this situation squared away. I'm gonna catch this uh, grouper and these snappers out of here. All right. And I'm gonna hand them to you and then we're gonna go right into the back of the truck where the oxygen's running in the live well, okay? Okay. Same thing we did when we took them off the boat, backwards, right? right. Here we go. See if we can go real soft and gentle. We don't want these guys. Oh, that's not soft and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanna be real careful because if he hits the ground, we've just spent a month trying to make sure he's in perfect condition. So we just got to be careful with him. Let me make sure I can keep him in nice and healthy. Okay. All right, guys. Go. Go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Get him right in there, buddy. Gently, Terry. It's a little dude. There you go. How's he looking? All right. You're looking good, Cap. Excellent. All right. That's nice. Looking good. Okay, one down, several more to go, boys. All right, we got our mangroves in here, and then the yellowtails are in the other tank. Yep, so everybody's a little separated out, ready to go. It's a lot of work. I always say that catching them is about a third of the work, and then holding them and quarantining them and getting them healthy is, is the next third, and then shipping them to wherever they're going is the last third. If one of you guys can run it, the other guy get in the truck. Yep, you get in the truck, we see. Got it? Yeah, Hold it tight. Me. There you go. All right. Well, you didn't drop them. Proud of you.
There's one last leg of this journey to accomplish. The guys head back to aquarium encounters to release the freshly quarantined fish into the predator reef tank. Get him push, just push it. There you go. Coming behind you guys. Coming in behind. Mangy's coming in. Mr. Red, find your safe spot. All right, snappers. Everybody find your safe spot. Everybody run. No. Oh, oh, he missed him. Yes. Stay alive, my dude. Dude, where'd that red go, bro? Is it dead? Don't tell me. Yeah. Doing good. Nice little hole there. Safe and sound. I wonder where that red is. He's definitely in that hole. Yeah, hopefully he's <laughs> made, his, made his way in there. This is not a friendly tank. You look good, Jack. Yeah. That's it. All she wrote. Well, Ben, it's always great working on projects with you. This one was a super fun one. We've done them in the past with the permit. Yep. And I tell you what, man, you guys have a first class operation here. I know my family enjoys the aquarium. I know everybody else enjoys the aquarium here in town. It, it's just a blessing to have you guys here in the Florida Keys. Well, thank you, and, and obviously you guys run a first-class operation too, and it's really awesome to have the two conks get together and get to do this kind of thing every so often. So thanks a lot, and good to having the boys with us, and it was, a, it was a great experience overall. All right, man. Well, thanks again, man. All right. Pleasure. Yep, absolute. Till next time. Right, See you, bro. See you later. Peace out.